Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about um, advice for loneliness at university and how to deal with it, yes? So basically, um, are you lonely at uni? Ask yourself why are you lonely? Is it because um, you can't sort of, you're not integrating well, you're not um, approaching other people or is it because other people are hostile? It's very often not the last, the latter case, yes? So just be honest with yourself. So the first point is Flatmate. So you're living in a residence. You're living, say, you're away from university and you're in an accommodation and your flatmates. So is there potential to make friends with your flatmates? Do you share the same norms and values? By norms and values, I mean, do you share the same interests? Do you do, you do similar things to those guys, basically? Um, and yeah, just ask yourself that and be open-minded about your flatmates because 100% of the time there'll be different people from different countries, different backgrounds. Just be open-minded and sometimes it, you might, you know, have conflicts with I did. Let's see my other flatmate fights video. Um, it's in the playlist. And if you have issues, then straighten them out. It might, it'll take a lot of courage, a lot of strength and, you know, you might feel like you've lost if you say, um, if you if you iron things out like an adult, but you haven't lost, you're just clearing out the air and you don't want to be in that toxic atmosphere forever. So that's one advice for loneliness, just patch things out even if you don't get on with one particular flatmate, yes? And uh, make sure they don't become a flat hit, because that's another thing. Um, so yes, so see if there's potential in your flatmates and whether you can be friends with those guys. So talk over dinner, over lunch, or whenever you meet, arrange something, say, oh, shall we go out when you're free? And if you don't like clubbing or something, maybe go to a cafe and things like that. Second point is societies. Uh, join a society, only one society, not a thousand. This is a very typical tip you'll see on every YouTube video, but I'm gonna tell you again, because it's important. Join a damn society, what you, something that you will stick to, something that's not clashing with your lectures or tuition uh, classes or whatever. Just join one society and make sure you stick to it every single damn week. That is so important, so important, so important. Mm, even if it's for 10 minutes a week, stick with it and eventually, 100%, you will make friends at that group because you will see the same damn faces and... It, it, you know, it takes someone with no heart to say hi after you've been there for six, seven months. So you will definitely meet a friend who you eventually, you know, might even turn into a lifelong friend. So the third point is find your people. So what do you like doing? That's where you'll find your people. If you like baking massive chocolate croque and bouche towers, then go to that society and meet those people and be friends with those people and stick with those people because you'll feel like you're in a community for instance especially if you're, you're going to a london uni like mm. um me uh, so well london's a hostile it's a huge city everyone's just walking like they've got firecrackers up their backsides just you know that's those moments those societies pause time in bigger cities like that whether it's manchester bristol uh, wherever you are it applies to everything yes just find your people and stick to those people and my other tip is in lecture halls when you're having lectures in your break breaks say hi to people next to you be open-minded be a bit more assertive if you're confident and confident and don't be shy say hi they want the worst that can happen is they ignore you yes they're not gonna give you dead stares or arresting bitch faces or anything like that if they do just ignore them and move on to the 400 rest yes because they're not worth your damn time and make sure you damn, you know, be open-minded about it. Be pleasant, be, you know, the niceties, the etiquette, all that stuff, and be confident. Don't put people off you by being quiet, because that's usually the case, because people might find you intimidating. So, you know, just muster up the courage to say hello to random people in your lecture hall, because they like your course that's why they've chosen your course so that's you can start from that interest and build on to other things um the fourth point is student services and counseling use that if you're crazy lonely i don't need to say anymore the fifth point is freshers um join a societies again join one society well not societies join a society join one society and stick to that society it links to my earlier point and make sure you 
basically don't sign up for a thousand societies and then go to 0.0% of those, yeah? So make sure you uh, follow at least one or two of these points because they will change your life at uni. And guys, if this video has helped, please subscribe, please like, um, comments, etc. are welcome too. So take care for now and I hope you don't have a lonely time at uni. Bye.